What's going on, my friend? How are you doing today? David Limrell here. Happy Tuesday. I want to start this off with something super cool, a great quote that I read yesterday by Albert Einstein. Watch this. Check this out. Try not to become a man of success, but rather try to become a man of value. Boom. <laughs> right? How many of you guys like that? Did that hit you right square in your face? It did me. Uh, whenever I read that, I was like, holy cow, that's good. So, so many people out there are just chasing success whenever rather they should focus on providing more value in the marketplace. So how would you like to learn and know about the four or sorry, four little known factors that could highly and greatly affect your bank account? What's going on, Michael? Good to see you on here, buddy. Yes, sir. Give value every single day. My goodness, it's really been um uh, just growing me and I've been helping and I hope that it's been helping you in your life as well, too. So today I'm going to be sharing with you four little known factors that can definitely affect your bank account. And I'm excited to share this with you because it's been growing me um, and and and, uh, and I hope that it's been helping you, benefiting you in your life as well, too. What's going on, Danny? Good to see you on here, buddy. Hope you're doing well. Uh, another. Um, actually, I'm going to I'm going to get back to that this next quote later. So number one, you don't get paid for your time. Okay, you're not actually getting paid for your time. Whenever you go to work and you say that you're getting paid X amount of dollars per hour, you're not actually getting paid for your time. You're getting paid for the amount of value that you're bringing to the marketplace. So you can equate what you are, are making per hour. You can equate that with the amount of value that you're bringing to the marketplace. Okay, and if that value is replaceable, easily replaceable, or very difficult to be replaced, okay, you can kind of uh, find out how much that that value is equated to, right? So if you want to get a raise at your job, I'm going to be sharing with you a couple of different tips on how you can do that here. So simply solve more problems, find out how you can bring more value to the marketplace, bring more value to your, um, to your job. What problems are going on at your work? How can you solve those problems? So start thinking about that kind of stuff. Here are a couple of quotes uh, here. We don't get paid for, sorry, we get paid for value. We don't get paid for time, but nothing is more more important than your time. So it, I, I highly recommend that you use your time wisely to invest it into yourself, to grow yourself, to grow your value, okay? Um, also, another great quote. This is a key phrase uh, for life in general. Learn to work harder on yourself than you do on your job. And this is this is what Jim Rohn said. So if you work hard on your job, then you can make a living. But if you work hard on yourself, then you'll make a fortune. How are those words for life? So if you can if you can stick to that, if you can live by that phrase, uh, it should really, really help you out in your life, help you bring more value to the world. What's going on, Boring? Good to see you on here. Andrew, how are you doing, buddy? Oh, it's Ashley. What's up, y'all? <laughs> so the next little quote here is the earlier that you realize and adopt this powerful philosophy, the sooner that you will become successful, okay? So again, don't focus on that success, but focus on what kind of problems can you solve? What kind of needs do people have and how can you help them to solve those needs, right? So that's number one. You don't get paid for your time. You get paid for the amount of value that you bring to the marketplace. Remember that, write these things down. Number two, you don't get much money if you're not very valuable to the marketplace, right? Now there are different types of value. You could be value uh, valuable in the eyes of God. You could, you could have great value in the eyes of your family, but as far as how much that you are worth do, uh, per, per dollar per hour, how much that you're getting uh, paid, you're not gonna be making a whole lot of money if you don't bring a lot of value to the marketplace, plain and simple. So here's a quick tip on this side. Don't bring your needs to the marketplace or to your job. You can replace marketplace with your job if you want. Or if you're an entrepreneur, you could replace marketplace with your audience or your friend, even like we talked about with Justin Prince a couple of days ago. If you wanna go take a look at that, it's over at my blog, or just scroll down further on my Facebook. Um, so don't bring your needs to the marketplace, but bring your skills, all right? And one of the best ways that you can raise your skill set is to invest in yourself. Investing in yourself looks like this. You, you, you uh, invest a little bit of your time and possibly your money into learning how to do something better, right? So that's number two. You don't get much money if you're not very valuable to the marketplace. Number three, you don't get more valuable with time, okay? 
age or years in the job does not equal value. All right. And here's another one. Here's another one to think about too. Um, most people want more money, but they are not willing to do anything that delivers more valuable to the business uh, or their customers. And it's kind of like as you get older, like age does not define your value. Age does not define your skills or your wisdom. And think about it like this too. You can have change without growth, and that change could be just simply getting older, but you can't have growth without change. So in order for you to get more valuable in a short amount of time, if you want, um, or just as time goes on, focus on that growth because that growth will change, will, will change, will bring change to you and also will change the level of your value. Okay. So that's number three. You don't get more valuable with time. <laughs> um, that one should hit you right square in the eyeball. So make the most of your time to invest in yourself. Number four and the last and final tip. Stop doing important things occasionally and start doing important things daily. Whenever I heard this, it changed the whole dynamic of my outlook on my day-to-day -day, um, uh, life. I'm sitting here thinking now, what can I do to grow myself? What can I do to improve my situation? And now that starts to discourage me from spending my time on time wasters and it starts to encourage me to spend my time on things that invest in myself, that actually grow myself, that helps me to progress towards my goals. And I recommend that you do that for yourself as well too. Are you guys getting some value from this? If this is helping you, then I really recommend that you drop some comments. I would love to hear from you. If you would like to get my top five mentors that I put in my ear every day, and this goes along with what we're talking about here, raise your value, invest in yourself. You have to be listening to people that can take you from point A, which is where you're at right now, to point B, which is growth, which is where you want to be, okay? So if you want my top five mentors that I put in my head every single day and that have been greatly affecting and changing my life recently, then just reach out to me. Let me know. I put this quick list together for you. I'll be sure and send it over to you. Um, as soon as, as soon as you let me know, just send me a message or if you would like, just comment on this video. So bless you. I hope this video helped you. Did it help you? I hope you got some tips from it. I uh, hope you wrote some good notes down. Be thinking about these notes and these four, these four little known factors as you do your life. And I hope that it will help you and God bless. I will see you on the next video. Take care. Bye-bye for now.